Hey everybody and welcome back. I thought I would get a quick video here before the sun is uh, gone in this section of the carport. Aaron's been towing this trailer for a while and we initially had it dropped uh, down. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. We initially had it where it came through right here and bolted on between the overrider and the actual bumper blade. He has since decided he didn't like that rake and we have raised it by putting a little stacker there. And we've noticed that it hops a lot more when it hits a bump or hits something weird. And single wheel trailers are kind of notorious for that. And so I thought I would investigate and kind of see what's going on with it. There was a little bit of a issue with one of the caps on the wheel bearing area. So I fixed that. You can see if you, I don't know if you can or not, but it's kind of popping bearing grease out everywhere around it so I've tightened that down put a stacked a couple washers in there so that it kind of forces that together and that seems to have fixed that the other issue we have is initially from the factory these had like a felt a felt pad or a felt washer up here and you can see I've got the castle nut uh, spun in where it should be because the pin goes through just fine uh, but the problem is let's see if I can do this with my other hand where you can see not getting in your shadow here I've greased that up if I tighten this more tighten that castle nut in it is too tight to swivel if I keep it where it is I'm going to show you what happens maybe focus 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 there we go that is too much movement so what is happening, this thing goes down the road, he hits a bump, and that starts doing this. And then we get the death wobble, and you pretty much have to pull over to straighten that out. That is the annoying thing about these. So if you don't have them adjusted right, and I've mentioned that in a couple other videos, uh, it'll just make your life miserable. And it's hard on the car. So I'm going to build a couple of felt washers. And, you know, they'll be the same diameter as that main spindle hub there. And then we'll be able to adjust that, and I'll coat those with, with uh, bearing grease, and we should be able to coat that up and fix that issue. The wheel itself, I've taken all of the, the play out of it, so it doesn't move side to side anymore. It is good. It spins free. So that problem, that issue, has been taken care of. And you can actually see maybe, eh, maybe you can't. Too much sun in that case. It's actually kind of scored the center of this tire where it would hop in the road. So that is the problem, I believe. If it is not, we will drop it back down and give it its original rake, which was about uh, 13 to 14 degrees <clears throat> when the car was normal height and about 17 degrees when it was slammed all the way down on the airbags, or sorry, air shocks. So let me go make a couple washers for that and put them on there and we'll see what that does for us. I took that off of there, and the way it's designed, I was thinking that a felt washer would have gone inside here. But the way that the actual mechanism itself is designed, with the track inside for my grease, is making me lean towards maybe not putting one in. I'm just tightening it up and drilling a new hole for the pen to go through, bringing it back a little further. So I'm just going to pack this little area here full again and tighten it back up and see if I can get it kind of tight, if I can get it tight without it wobbling. But my, my hole is too far out. I'll just drill a new hole. Let's give that a try. So I wasn't really liking the way that trailer was spinning when I spun the wheel. And one of these things is not like the other. This one, the center's all busted out of it. So I'm going to have to get a new one of those. Hits just keep on coming on this one. See that little pinhole back there? Right there. Apparently there was a little piece of uh, metal on there that kicked back into the tube and busted the tube. So now I gotta sand that down and weld that closed and put a new tube in. Well that was way easier than it should have been. So there's uh, those little holes that are getting me. They don't feel real sharp, but I sure did pop that tube. Those rims are pretty bad shape, but 
think we can make it work. I just gotta clear that guy and grind it down so it's smooth. Son of a buck. So right there is where the hole is. Probably can't hear it. Can't hear it above the toddler. Anyway, it is mimicking exactly those two little holes, so that is definitely what happened. Well, there it is. Not much to work with there. Every time you hit it, it just wants to blow out. Hold it up to the light, see if we get any. I'm not seeing any light shining through, so I think we're, I think we're good. So here are those dust caps that I took off of the single wheel trailer. This is the one that's still in one piece, and it doesn't seem to be damaged or weakened at all, so I think that one is fine. This one, the center is busted out of it, and it, it is nowhere. So it busted it out, chewed it up, and spit it out. I can tell you that when I assembled that trailer, both of those look the same. <clears throat> the problem is trying to find one of those little boogers, because when you think about it, trailers are usually on each end of your axle. So they have a spindle that comes down and then the trailer hub kind of bolts up to that. Well, this one has the axle that actually goes through the whole trailer, so... Or dust cap usually just is closed off. Here, I'll go show you what I mean. So here's my little sailboat trailer that I reworked uh, this past winter. And you can see it just has the dust cap that covers, you know, the whole, the whole thing. It's just solid. When we go to put these single wheel ones on, that's kind of a problem. So that, that's, <clears throat> excuse me, typically the kind that you're going to find. So I had Aaron go out and get a couple of things to give us a try here. The uh, dust, let's see what this one says here. Easy lube dust cap, that's a two inch. And you can see the diameters really are not the same here. Could probably fit one over the other. So I don't think that is likely going to work for us. Unless I can figure out a way to kind of put that inside there maybe. Weld that inside of that. But he also bought uh, machinery bushings. And those seem to fit fairly well in there. So I'm thinking I could maybe just weld... You know, kind of like, just set that up in there like that. Let me try that first. Because that would be about the same recess as this one. You know, it's not like I can just go down to my local Montgomery Ward store and say, Hey, this 1960 uh, Montgomery Ward trailer I have out here, I need some new dust caps for it. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try. Let me clean this little cap up here. And we'll try and weld this piece to the inside. There are some kind of high and low spots on the <clears throat> inside of this. So I just kind of took a hammer with a screwdriver. Kind of beat it. So it'd give it a fighting chance, maybe. That seems to fit pretty well in there now. Better than it did. Lays pretty flush. Get it lined up here. Or not. There we go. So I think uh, that's probably our best bet. I did have Aaron go get just some regular uh, dust covers, the kind that have the dome, and thought maybe I could drill the center out and then just hammer this little recess. You can see that or not. There's a little lip that recesses in right there. I could just hammer that in. That has to be there because of the way the trailer's made. I'll show you that. So this is riding right up against that. You can see that comes in quite a bit right here. Probably, I don't know, it's almost a quarter inch probably. And so this rides inside there. So we have to have this little recess lip here, which is what's killing us. So just going to have to make it. There's the ugly mess I ended up with, so I'll just go clean that up. See if I can clean some of that out. That wasn't the easiest to weld, and it's not dead center. It's off just a little bit. Yeah, 
but I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit and kind of grind that out and see if we can make it look a little bit more like that. Well, it isn't the prettiest of jobs and I'm out of little, down to the very nubbins of those. We're gonna go out and see if it'll fit on the trailer. If it'll just slide in there, I can get it perfect later. Uh, wish I had a machine shop close by. Just have them do that bit there for me. Yep, it's as good as I can do for what I'm working with right now. So, try to make it work. So I guess this is the true test. See if we'll fit. Like a glove. It might actually work. Wouldn't that be something? Well, darkness is upon us. And I have that. This is the side I built right here. And it's a little bit noisier because it's hitting a couple of those little bumps, but it's smooth. And it's not side to side movement. I mean, I think it's gonna be okay. Need to spray a little paint right there. Probably won't get to that tonight, but it feels smooth. It looks pretty straight to me. It's running pretty true. So, just a little noisy where that side, there's little lumps along where I didn't grind all the way off and it's just hitting the edge of that. But as far as spinning on the bearings and everything, it feels, uh, feels pretty good. I think while I've got it upside down, I'm going to go through on all of these joints here where you can kind of see the orange rust popping through and just spray some PB Blaster or something in there to kind of loosen, grease that up really nice. So I think we're going to give it a try tomorrow, see how much damage we can do. So I think we got the issue resolved on this single wheel. We've parked them, they're going to be parked until the next trip and uh, seem to handle just fine. If you didn't watch the video of Artie Fest at the car show, uh, this thing handled really well. We did put a little bit of weight in it and it did just fine. So I think we have that issue resolved or at least I'll say I'm ca uh, cautiously optimistic. Let's put it that way. So I think that one's resolved and hopefully we won't have any more issues with it. Well, even the piece that I uh, welded and repaired seems to have kind of smoothed itself out just by riding it down the road. We did put a little bit of weight in it when we hauled it right over the wheel. So we, we mounted a cooler here and tied it in and that seemed to help tremendously. So if you do have a single wheel and you're having trouble with it hopping around, maybe try putting a little bit of weight in it. That seemed to help pretty well. Mine did great, didn't have any issues at all with mine. So I think I've got that hitch system figured out on mine. I was hauling uh, this little car, which doesn't weigh that much, but it probably was just enough to keep that hop kind of down a little bit. This car is called an auto cycle and it was actually manufactured that way but it was shaft driven. I have the pieces to fix that back like it was. Somebody has put it, cut that system in there and put that in there. Uh, so what's next? Well, old Pickle, the 58 panel bus has waited his turn very patiently and so my plan is to put him up on some wheel dollies and move Pickle, see if I can back up without falling, move Pickle into this area right here in some dolly so all of these trailers and things will go down with the other trailers. There's two trailers back here. One is a tent trailer and one I'm going to turn into a little one-man camper. Hopefully this winter you'll get to see that. So Pickle is next on the list. I've been waiting to get going on that bus for a year now and we've played around with it a little bit but it's time. It's time to really get going on it. I'm super excited. I hope you are as well. We'll pull that up in here in the next couple of days, get it on some dollies, move all this garbage, and be good to go. Thanks for watching, everyone. I appreciate the comments. I love seeing what you have to say about the projects. And it looks like the wasp are starting to get busy. So I think it's time for us to get busy and get them cleared out of here. Thanks again, everybody, and uh, see you. Hopefully, when we're pulling this in the bay the next time. Take care.
I know, I know. Everyone's going to say, what about that scooter there? It's coming. I promise. It's coming. To 1958, Silver Pigeon. My plan is to put that 58 inside that 58. We had to get Ruby a litter box. Not really Ruby's fault. This used to be the spot where I parked the mini. The mini kind of pukes oil. And over there, the toddler dumped that bucket. So we leave it on a couple more days and see if we can clean up some of that mess. Just want to point something out. See those two points? That point and that point. See those two points? That one and that one. Yeah. I'm just going to leave that there. I didn't do that. And my four-year-old son didn't do it. We're just going to leave that. Leave that there. Do it.